all men. I will draw all men. That is craziness. That is sin. You know what the other tells me is that we're not praying. Because if we were praying, gang, there would be no crazy men for Satan to inhabit and use. If we were praying, gang, that's why Adam and Eve started falling. You fall one way or the other. You will fall to your knees or you will fall on your belly like Satan. We fall and I have been falling to our belly constantly because everyone won't pray. The moment we pray and we turn our face toward God, towards God, then there is nobody that Satan can inhabit and use for his uh, uh, edification. He can't get glory. I won't give him that. He can't have it. He's still under my feet. Now, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. Satan's underlings, this is how it works in the spiritual realm. Satan's underlings are demons. Right? Demons. So, but Jesus tells us to flee from sexual immorality, which is a demon. Right? You can admit that. Yes? The James tells us, Jesus says, James tells us, somebody says it, James says it, then Bob Bible, James tells us to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. But Jesus says, flee from sexual immorality. We are not supposed to flee from Satan, but we're supposed to flee sexual immorality, a demon. We're supposed to submit to God when Satan comes. Oh no, he's stupid enough that I'll submit to God and he'll be gone. I know that. That's why I call him Nisi. I just call him Nisi! And he comes for me. I get the good God for me. The one that beats the crap out of the when the enemy comes in. Even my evil come in no more. Cause if I he gonna be missing some more teeth and I bugles. Oh, you should touch on my horns. You missing more bugle horns on his head. If I, he won't come in no more. When the enemy comes in with you, not with me. He'll come into me. Cause I know where to go. When I when the good of the night and meet me, come on out here. It's easy until he speaks from eternity. He said, if I if I be lifted up. From the earth I will draw all men unto me. If we were all praying, all of us, right? Would there be any, right? Here, all and any, hear the words? Would there be anyone that the enemy could use for his edification or his plan? Absolutely not, because we'd all be seeking God. We would not just be watching the TV. See, there are people that are watching the TV and getting upset about it, and those are the ones that the enemy is using. Because they're not obeying the rule book. He said, oh, lift me up. But Jesus, up. I'm not speaking against TV. I was watching TV myself. The problem is I was picking different channels until he speaks from eternity. I'm bipolar, so I'm not supposed to watch news. There's certain things they don't want. They don't want to let me do. Like, oh, I can't carry a whip, weapon, whatever. Oh, uh, I can't have a gun. <laughs> Forget if you're on your medication and you, you you're doing well. I wouldn't shoot anybody anyway. I'm not stupid. But the enemy can pick anybody to inhabit and use at the time when they are angry. And so just to keep it down, keep uh, trouble down a little bit, Jamie. We know that you like to take your medicine and be cool with it, but everybody does not. So I take an L for it. I take an L for the team, right? The team of B, bipolar, I take an L for it. Then I will agree not to carry a concealed weapon just so that you feel better about yourself. Medical industry, you feel like you're doing something. Because if you were on top of it, you would have stopped. Uh, the, and all these rules that you give us, you would have rules would have stopped what happened. But the rules, but that's why I say I don't read no book but the Bible. Because we start developing rules. I believe what I read. I'm gates, right? And then when I enter in, I believe what I read. And when I read something, I, I tend to believe it. I grab it quickly. That's why I don't infect my body with everything incestuous, a uh, thing with uh, words inside of it. I don't pick up novels and read about uh, men living with uh, uh, women and sweeping them away with Fabio on the cover. But I don't even like his hair, to tell you the truth. But about him, he should have had an afro. He would be better with that face shape and an afro. Anyway, I don't pick up uh, books that will lead me into sexual immorality and meeting the three menage a That's why you got the twa of a menage up. With you and you can't be where you need to be for passing over. Jesus will pass over you and he should be using you for the new, for the genesis of this thing. There's an exodus, but uh, there's also a genesis. Uh, Jesus, uh, he only wants to use you as your remnant but because you won't put Fabio down and pick him up. Uh, Fabio won't draw you up. You know what? He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, yeah. He said, if I, if I, that's, that's the Bible covenant, right? Be lifted up huh, from the earth. One more time, one more time. He said, if I, if I be lifted up huh, from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Think about it. You see the words and you say, okay, well, that means let's lift them up in church. 
and then that whatever rest comes through, you pass over certain words. God is saying he's having a great Passover now, and he's genesising some things and exodusing others, and you're missing out of, of what's going on. Why? Because you are reading part of the scriptures and you're not asking him to give you a revelation on it. You don't know how he is going to do it. However, you believe that because you see it, you don't even have to really read it and understand it, get an understanding of it. So you look at that, look at over. He said, if I, he be saying that since for the last thousand years, if I be lift up from the earth, we just stop clapping earth. I would draw all men unto me to so clap. Clap and change the atmosphere, but it does not cause God to lift you up, lift people up. When I praise God, I praise God for my entire church. They don't know it, but I praise him for my entire church. Just like I know there are people inside the church that praise him for the entire church. So we are lifting him up, right? So that he can lift the rest of them up. Because everybody ain't paying attention. If I be lifted up from the earth, you don't know how he's going to do it. If I, if I be lifted up from the earth. He stopped that woman from committing suicide last week. And it was the day before that I called them and said, I need to pray for her. I don't know why, but I need to pray for her. I don't know how, why she needs prayer. Ask her why she needs prayer. I don't know this woman. I had just seen her that Sunday. I don't remember her name. And God scored her suicide attempt. Because she tried over and over and over and over again. And thank God she was all successful. So the enemy is all successful. You talked about it, right? How I shame him in the street. Now he got no street cred. Because he's successful with everything. You probably we can have it because Jamie mad because he mad because Jamie stepped on his horns, kicked him out of her house, and then told him he was all successful. He tried to attack me and tried to give me proper tunnel. And both my hands, right? Busting my kneecaps with tumors in the right knee. And we don't know if he was wrong or right, but we just know I need crutches for it. So I'm on crutches with, with, with hands that cannot hold on to the bars of the crutches. Mind you, the crop tunnel hurts so bad. But you know what I'm doing? I'm doing my blob. I'm on my way to the gym. It hurt so bad on Monday. I wanted to cry. I almost fell out in the pool. I did Zumba on one leg the entire time I was in water. I'm still going. Because he. Oh, learn the rule book and the real plays. Stop reading the book of Judas. Stop reading books that don't matter. And then I know that God has something special on the horizon for me. You know why? Because these because people are coming back in. The stupid things. They only woke me up with something that something someone said. And God reminded me. He said, you need to pray about this. If it's vexing your spirit, there's a hex on you. You need to, you need to pray about it. If that vexes your spirit, it's, a, it's not a God, right? So if it vexes you, there's a hex involved with it. Get away from it and pray about it. But then after that, I looked and I saw, I said, wait a minute. Two minutes before I actually got up out the bed and went to the bathroom, I got a text about something ridiculously stupid. I left. And I didn't, and I, I left. And I cut myself off because God said to, I got here, and when I got here, I was like worshiping God and focusing on getting close to God, and they assumed that I would come back running. But when I didn't come back running, I, I, I called when I needed uh, when I needed some s assistance. Remember, I told you guys my liver died, and this is the ending story. It's to give God glory. My liver died. I called all of them, and nobody was there for me. But Harmony and I think it was Pastor Randy that answered me. Nobody. Nobody answered me. myself back to health and then I hear from them for six days and I called them I said first of all I just want to say happy Thanksgiving I'm going through some things I want to talk to you guys both of my sisters and now it seems as though when I'm at the gallery I got a call saying come chase me and then they know I sleep both of them know I do not stay up at night I'm not up I fall asleep at 8 o'clock. I'm like a bird. You put nighttime over my cage. It started getting dark last night. You put nighttime over my cage. I'm out. That's what you hear. One more time. That's my bird sleeping. She falling out. I'm a canary. I don't know how to do it. I sleep. <laughs> so they know it. I would slide. My mother would put me in the corner and forget I was in the corner. And I would slide down the wall. She would fall and find me sleeping in the corner. I will slide down the wall. There will be tools down the wall. I will slide down it. That's gross. But still, clean the wall, Lois. <laughs> That's gross. So nasty. I go to sleep. But I keep getting, every time I'm about to, something is about to happen, I get a text that says, oh, well, come see 
us. Sabaha, come see us, come find us. We want to talk to you, other. Come find me, come pursue me. God has something that he has. To, he, he's pursuing me with when he's pursuing me with a gift for art or poetry or whatever he's got ministry. It's got to be ministry, but it'll be men. But then the enemy will always send things in. He sent her in to be a distraction. Do you believe it? My sisters are great people, beautiful people, but they don't realize when they're being used by the enemy. And since they will not dedicate themselves to God, I'm begging them to get to the point where God can use amazing grace to open their eyes so that they can see. But some people want to remain blind so that they do not have to accept accountability for what they're doing. So that what they will keep doing is trying to vex your spirit for the hex on you. God was you. Satan was using it to cover up the simple call. There's one big thing that came in to remind me of what happened by right? a on some time I said wait a minute uh, over the weekend this one thing right but, um, but then this one thing came in to put me in a bad mood right and then underneath the sheets of it was the real seed that Satan was trying to send call us pursue us I'm not a witch I'm not a man my name is Jamie and I definitely don't pursue <laughs>